My name is George Mbaka, a final year student in Highland College of Technology in the Department of Networking and System Security. Actually, my project is to deploy an intranet capable of hosting a web server. So it's an intranet local web server. A local web server is a computer system that has been configured to host websites and web applications. By websites, we mean like our Yahoo sites, our Google sites, and all the rest. But the only difference between the local web server and the public internet servers is the, 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 the issue of coverage range. So while the local web server has been localized within the campus environment, the public internet servers can be accessible globally. That's just the difference. The, the server or the network that I deployed within the campus runs over a wireless network, which we call the intranet. Now this wireless network has been configured using wireless N access point that is capable of transmitting at the rate of about 300 megabytes per second. The server is deployed over a wireless network that can be wirelessly accessible by students using their mobile phones, their tablets and Blackberry device or whatever device that is wireless accessible can access it. Now this network uses a wireless CPE N router which can transmit at the rate of 300 megabit per second which means you can download up to five up to up to a gigabyte files within five minutes that's how fast it is and one other thing that is, makes it preferably which I would say is comparatively better than the public web server is the issue of speed because this server resides right in the campus you don't need to tunnel through several gateways and servers. The server is just right there, just a click away of it and you can access it. Now just like any server you can talk about, there must be an input. The server serves out what has been deposited in it. So currently, like the server we are running here now has the capacity of hosting websites, both dynamic and static websites which means it is database driven. So right there on the server, we have an electronic library system that is running right on it, which means students can access videos of maybe video tutorials, access eBooks, and so many other access. As Alan College of Technology is concerned, we know, we all know that Alan College of Technology is an IT-based institution. So I told you that what do we get where we gather some IT based or uh, video tutorials for students in order for them to get access to it as whenever they need video, tut video tutorials and electronic books for them to do more in the academic um, race so that they can get this. That's why I told you that well let me gather all these materials as much as possible for them to get it at free cost. I'm trying to solve a problem which is uh, the course restriction system in the school, which is actually manually. We didn't we, we did do it manually. And um, I feel it should be automated since we're in the high tier world. So um, we, I plan to, I, I, I personally plan to implement the portal on the on the internet, which will reduce bandwidth and students uh, megabyte and other things like that. And not only that, the network is also connected to, uh, to an email server which means students can send mails within the school premises. You don't need to wait for your, your, your lecturer. You can contact him through the email. You can uh, send your resources or your assignment through the email. And beside that, uh, a student also develop a chatting portal, just like a social media network. It's also running on the server, which means at leisure time, students can chat within themselves and have access to so many information. There are so many information, so many services that is running on it, which makes it somehow limitless. The Trinic portal is in, two, is in two parts, which is the information system and the course registration system. Okay, now the course registration system is works this way. It actually um, helps to reduce stress of the students queuing up in the admin block, one. Then at the same time, reduce redundancy. And now for the information system, um, I just feel we shouldn't make the portal so boring and um, um, looking so static. So I, I implemented the information system to just for the admin to always pass up um, information to the students 
via the portal so you can we can get the right information from the management via the portal When the idea is that when you're within the school internet, you lose touch of yourself. You can't really tell if you're in the internet or the internet. That is how it has been designed. And the most interesting thing about this project work, I mean the web server and the internet which I deployed, is the fact that it is completely free. Free in the sense that you are the ISP yourself. You don't need to pay for bandwidth. All you need to do is to have the server set up and running keep it running, you don't pay for any bandwidth. And the other aspect of it is that the students are also free to use it. So they don't need to pay for data subscription. All that needs to be done is to have the server up and running and you turn on your wireless device, your phone, your tablet, your Android phones, and you get connected. You surf the internet, you download, you chat. Whatever access you want to access, you access it free. That's the beautiful thing about this whole project. Alright, during the app show and exhibition, I think they, they also they also had a look on my own project work. Actually I didn't design an app, but my project is something that actually is hosting almost all the app and web applications that other students did. And I tell you it's something of much significance because with that it reduces the cost of having these services being hosted online. I would say this project is an indigenous way of cutting the cost of bandwidth management, which is something that is actually extorting money, I would say, from uh, some schools and organizations. So with this whole thing, it means that one, organizations or schools can have these things deployed in their school premises, like secondary schools, you know, everything is going global, everything is going electronic. So having things like e-library being deployed, having things like some information portals being deployed locally, I think it will help in those areas. Schools will benefit from it, corporate organizations will benefit from it, and lots more. I design and construct a motion detector using an ultrasonic sensor. In other words, I call it a motion detector. I detect an intruder trying to uh, intrude into a secured environment. This motion detector is a motion detector that we constructed using an ultrasonic sensor. Um, we made it uh, with a frequency range of 40 kilohertz. Though normally human uh, frequency range is 20 kilohertz, and anything that is higher than that, a human or we, man and human like you, cannot hear it. It is only dog and bat that can hear that kind of range of frequency, which is 40 kilohertz. So we use it so that it can detect any movement or, or any sound range of human. So a human can be uh, tiptoeing uh, to, 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 to tip something from a secure environment, thinking that the detector won't detect that small bit of sound. But go of that frequency range that will higher it to, so it will just detect it. So we, we make it uh, with a frequency range of 40 kilohertz. Just as we have a server room, it is very strictly adhered to the admin alone. When we're talking about server room, you know, when we talk about public, it is different from private. So let me, the server room, it is private only. The ICT room can be made as public, but the server room is meant for the admin alone or else any other person that will be authorized to enter that place at that particular time. So that's why we uh, I designed or we designed this motion detector per se to detect or to, 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 to bring out the secret of intruders trying to intrude into that secured environment which is the server room.